it it has to do with uh basically how to get 4k gaming on stadia through chrome browser now to hop right into this i can tell you that the steps should be very simple um if i could do it so can you um so let's move right along First thing you want to do is you will go to just type in Stadia extension or Stadia Plus. Let's put a plus on it. Stadia Plus extension. All right, here it is. And the one I normally go to is the one that's dated March 10, 2020, right here. That says Stadia Plus is an open source. Chrome extension improving and adding on to uh, Stadia's existing features right here. So let's click on that. And there you have it, Stadia Stadia Plus extension. I always leave the, pro, <laughs> the plus off for some reason. But Stadia Plus extension, all right? And here I can remove it from Chrome because obviously it's already here. Um, so I don't want to do that. But there are your options to remove or hide in Chrome menu. Uh, so moving right along, this is pretty simple. Once this is installed, um, you should be able to see it up top right here in your Chrome browser and then just hop right into a game. And it should automatically pick up the Stadia Plus extension um, whenever you go to stadia.com, which I'm about to do right now. All right. So... Shout out to these new Stadia Pro games right here, Spitling, Serious Sam, and Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. All right, they just dropped today. Um, the Stadia community knows that we've been getting a lot more games than we could have anticipated early on in Stadia's um, life cycle. So, but let's get right into it. So we're going to jump into Guilt, right? Why not? Gotta love Guilt. If you haven't tried this game, what are you waiting on? It's pretty spectacular in my opinion. I've already completed it. Um, I'm about to go in for a second playthrough. Absolutely phenomenal. The guys over at Tequila Works know what they're doing. So the reason I booted the game is because that's what you need to do in order to see the app in motion. All right, so here it is right here, Stadia Plus. Um, and as you can see here, now that, now that I am within the game, there you have it. 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160p, 60 frames per second. The codec, codec is VP9, session traffic, current traffic, average traffic. Packets lost is zero. That's huge. Frames dropped, zero. Huge. Latency around 27 to 28 milliseconds depending on your connection right now i'm doing all of this through shadow pc um i pay for it so i'm going to use it um and shadow p it's just been amazing especially during these times with the COVID 19 situation everybody and their grandmoms trying to use the internet for good reason by the way um it's just been tremendous at um being stable and consistent during these times so Shout out to Shadow and what they're doing over there with uh, Shadow, their Shadow PC. But here we go. So you have VP9 right here. Okay. You can select that or ACE264. You can hit apply on ACE264. So let me try that right now on the fly. And when you hit apply, it refreshes the page almost instantly and you get right back into the game. All right, you can hit shift tab, shift and tab at the same time. And there you go. Now, now that I've switched over to H264, for some reason, it gives me the good connection, but it's not excellent like it was with VP9. I don't have a clue why, um, but I will say that I use VP9 100% of the time. 100% of the time since I have installed this app and it's because of reasons like this all right um so let's go back to let's go back to VP9 all right right here 
you can force 4k resolution it's pretty straightforward and simple y'all um, so right here I'm gonna go back to VP9 hit apply takes a moment or two and you're back into the game all right now I am no expert but I can tell you that if VP9 is giving me an excellent connection for whatever strange miraculous reason as you can see here excellent all right underneath that it says when life gives you good internet go play uh, underneath that is data usage best visual quality and the big 4k right here now I play stadia on a 55 inch Samsung KS 8500 television with HDR 10 um, it's been tremendous I, I I, I won't play any other way because I love being able to kick back and just, you know, gaming on my big screen. So let's go back a little bit and I'll show you guys some gameplay. And then maybe I'll have time to switch to another game for you. All right. So this is what makes Stadia so cool, by the way. I have to say it. I mean, people can choose to hate on Stadia if they would like, but. If you give me 4K gameplay in a browser, <laughs> I'm on board for the long term and the long haul. All right. So let's put this fire out real quick because it's getting on my nerves. All right. And there you have it. Guilt running around. No lag. No latency. All right. Let's hop right into another game. Just so you can see that uh, it is the real deal. This extension, man. All right. So we will go down to, oh, these games dropped today, by the way. I don't know if I've already said this, but um, please claim these if you are a Stadia Pro member. Spitlings is a great game. I hear it's a lot of fun. Serious Sam and Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. But we're going to go right down here and jump in Doom Eternal. It's a hot game, recently released. And it's a game that I am absolutely loving, by the way. Now, pay attention to these load times. This is a perfect opportunity for you all to see why we love Stadia over here in Stadia Land. Uh, you can see there, already into the game. In a matter of seconds. All right, so I can tell you Ed did an amazing job without going too deep into this to this game. Um, they did an amazing job with it on Stadia, and I have been enjoying my I enjoying I can't talk, but I've been enjoying the experience ever since this game dropped. And I've been playing it on Chromecast Ultra. I played it in the um, on the Chrome browser. I played it on Shadow PC running stadia um through the chrome browser as well and it's been just just dope all right now right here i guess there might be an issue with the server so that's fine because i don't want to go into too much gameplay anyway but i was able to get in huh that's strange look at that load speed look at it all right Hit space to continue, but then I'm going to switch over to the controller on the fly. If it will let me connect. Controller link right there. Come on, I guess it is down. I guess they're doing some type of maintenance, so. Alright, here we go. A whole different game. Big guy doesn't stand a chance. Oh, yes, he does. Another big guy, and I'm dead that quickly. If you get out here on Doom, do not slip, people. It will destroy your soul, all right? But what I want to show you is 4K, right? It's still there. And that's what the VP9 codec is all about, in my opinion, all right? Let's go back in. I have to kill at least one enemy, though, before I end this stream. Let 
Now, normally it doesn't take this long to connect at all. You press A and you just jump right back into the game, but I don't know what they have going on right now. And this may be across the board for all platforms, I'm sure. Alright. Let me go out here and get me a kill or two. That's right. Oh, yeah. Alright. Not afraid of you, big guy. Yes, I am. Alright, so people, that will be it for today. I hope you all um, was able to benefit from this video. If you have any questions, you know, you can definitely hit me up at Project Storm on here on YouTube and leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you all. So I appreciate your time. You all have a great day.